Hey guys, what's going on? It's Bofet back again, and here we have the start of our Melee Singles Day. Melee Singles Pools, right now. We're having Leaf and Oregon player versus Volk. And uh, I'm actually not sure where Volk is from, but he's playing Falco here. He's got that box tag going on. And there's the first wobble. Leaf, a good ice counter player known for wobbling. He actually forced saw Dice Man at the Oregon Shuffle with those wobbles. Did a really great job. It was a fantastic set, actually. If you've not seen the Iceman vs. Leaf set from Oregon Shuffle, I highly recommend you go check it out. Pretty hype set. Oh, there's another wobble. Get a little bit too aggressive with that Falco, and that is going to be your punishment. A wobble from Ice Climbers. And uh, especially for people who really like to be aggro, it can be difficult to play against Ice Climbers, not because of matchup, uh, but because of player style. Matchup-wise, it's simple with the Ice Climbers. Don't get grabbed. Do not get grabbed. Exploit their weaknesses. Those are the two things that you really need to remember when fighting Ice Climbers. Mainly just don't get grabbed. Uh, but then when you have a player style clash where one person is uh, very aggressive or they're playing a very aggressive uh, character, then that creates a lot of opportunities for the Ice Climbers to get those wobbles in. And it becomes quite a challenge, at least for the Ice Climbers, or well, for both players really, um, to remain aggressive while maintaining their distance and not getting wobbled. Hits him with the get-up attack, and a forward smash is going to seal that one, maybe. Nana's definitely not coming back, and neither is Popo. Right, two two stocks, with Volk at 94%. Kind of a dangerous percent here. He doesn't even need to get wobbled at this percent to lose that stock. Just needs to get down smashed. And see, that's also a uh, that's also a mind game with the Ice Climbers. You're always going, what about the wobble? What about the wobble? Am I going to get wobbled? Is he going for the wobble? And sometimes your focus is so much on the wobble. Ooh, he almost got another one. And there's the... Oh, man. Dropping a couple wobbles. That was close. Cool. But anyway, your focus is so much on the wobbling sometimes that you forget that Ice Climbers can do other things. They can down smash, forward smash. They've got back airs. They've got a few combos. They can chain throw you. There's a lot of other things that Ice Climbers can do. There's that DC. Stop! Ooh. Really wanted to close this out with a wobble. He is at 80%, and he is playing against the Falco as Sopo now. This is pretty dangerous. Alright, wise choice. Uh, doesn't get L cancel into grab, but it just goes straight into shield. Alright, gets that forward smash. And that's gonna do it. First game going to Leaf. Alright, heading up to the second game now. Volk has chosen to counterpick to Battlefield. Uh, now, I actually do... I like this choice, but it really depends on how you play. Uh, if you're a more aggressive player, then this can work both for and against you. If you're a campy player, I think this will probably work more against you because it's a smaller stage. Uh, but as an aggressive player, once you get the combo going, then they don't have a lot of places to hide. Oh, and there's the first wobble. They don't have a lot of places to hide. That can uh, that can work very well as a Falco. However, Volk has not uh, demonstrated great strength in getting that pressure in and continuing the pressure. Ooh, but he almost lose that DI. But he has not demonstrated a great ability to get in with that pressure and just keep it going. So I'm not sure if that was what he was thinking when he counterpicked this, but I don't think pressure is. Uh, is going to be something he's going to be able to apply super effectively on the stage. Throws Nana away, doing some strange things with Nana. I, what I suspect are uh, flubs. Right, Search for that back air. Gets the grab and tries for the tech chase. Nice patience by Volk. Just sits there and says, All right, come on, go ahead and wave dash in. I got enough tilt waiting for you. And uh, Falco's up tilt is really a very powerful move because it does cover a deceivingly large distance or a large, deceivingly large area. And a lot of people get caught in it. Really got to be aware of that. Now we're 3 
three with Volk at 89% right now. Leaf pulling off a little bit of a pseudo combo there. Getting those gimps at a mere 3%, he's taking a full stock lead. Right now, Volk is really attempting. Oh! Volk was attempting uh, to get Nana out of there, but he shined and missed his jump out of the shine, unfortunately. That's something you can't do. You never want to remain on the ground for too long against Ice Climbers, because as soon as you mess something up, that Ice Climber player is going to take note of that, and then they're going to wobble, for it, wobble you for it the next time around. Right now, Volk is really searching for a way in. I saw there he downered on shield and ran away, turned around with a laser. That's a good option. Uh, pretty standard pressure, more effective against Ice Climbers. Well, rather, more effective against Sopo than with them against both of the Ice Climbers. So right now with Sopo, he's managed to take another stock. And that's not gonna kill. kill. It's gonna put him in a dangerous position. Easily edge cardable position, uh, but okay. The Falco up B is gonna kill. And we're trying to juggle him with those up airs, and it, it seems like Leaf is not quite concerned with getting the wobbles right now. He's more concerned with just pulling, with just playing and winning the neutral. Oh, great down smash there. Alright, I like what was going on right there. Uh, you saw him hit the ground, and when a character hits the ground and misses a tech like that, they're probably waiting for you to come over to do a getup attack. And I think Leaf was trying to time it so he could just 